Namaste, it's me Tanka Bhattarai from Dharan. I'm a teacher of Sri Saidi Smithi Secondary School. I've been teaching English for more than a decade. How are you? What did you do? Last time I had given you some work. Did you do those work? I hope you all didn't. Wasn't the work interesting? Definitely you enjoyed a lot. I hope so. You have got book, you have got exercise books and other materials, reading materials. You may have. You must have taken books from your school. Yes, enjoy reading at home. We are away from school, so I am here to help you. I will help you in reading. My today's class is English class 10. I will begin unit 2. In this unit, I will help you in reading, doing exercises, grammar exercises, and writing as well. You are must welcome in my class. Enjoy a lot. I will enjoy a lot with you and I hope so you will also enjoy a lot being with me. Thank you very much. Okay students, please take out your books, English book and turn pages to unit 2. Have you found? Hurry up and get ready with a pencil or pen and a copy. Did you arrange all those things around you? Okay, get ready. Today my lesson is unit 2. I have already finished discussion on unit 1 and today my unit begins like this. In this unit 2, there is a reading, reading text and I will I'll help you how to read. I will show you how to read and pronounce the words and sentences. You try to go with me, listen to the difficult words, their spelling, you can watch the words on television and you go with me. Okay, in this chapter, I will help you in reading and follow of exercises, vocabulary, listening and speaking and we will discuss on grammar exercises that is one language function is given there in this unit, it is reporting statements how the statements are reported that is from direct narration to indirect narration how to report the sentences i'll help you and along with this there is writing exercise you will be asked to do different types of task in writing exercises making questionnaire, you know, collecting answers from people and then you will be guided to write down an essay. And there is a project work. I hope you will enjoy doing the project work. Okay, get ready now. Okay, class 10, there is a debate. In this unit, there is one debate, okay, we will learn about the debate. Generally, debate is a formal contest of competition. This is a contest or this is a competition in which two opponents or opposing groups or persons express their views. They sometimes attack 
in these sometimes you know help others and support the ideas that they are telling the people who take part in the debate they will have to talk on the motion or for the motion and against the motion the person who is talking who is expressing his view up for the motion supports the idea supports the main topic motion means topic that is subject okay we have heard pain is mightier than the sword in this topic pain is positive side one side and sword is another side right and the person who is speaking for the motion says positive ideas positive thoughts that he thinks from one side and another one is taking an example health is better than wealth then health is the health the person who is speaking on health will say that health is better health is best and the next person opposing person he will say wealth is best you know wealth is better than the health that is that type of contradictory opposite type of views and perceptions can be heard can be used in the debate i hope we will do debate you know we will do debate and you will do debate in your classroom too when you are physically present in your school then you will enjoy debating with your friends on the topic given by your teacher okay let's see in this look at this picture what can you see in this picture three persons are sitting beside the window sorry beside the uh, door and window and two teams of people students they are sitting one is standing in one group and perhaps in other group the students are making a discussion and there are further more you know other students sitting behind this is a scene of a debate that is taking place in a school okay let's say guess where is the place you can simply say it is school ground it is the compound of the school who are these people yes definitely you can say these people are teachers and students what are they doing yes definitely they are having a debate contest it is a competition why is one student standing can you say why is he standing he seems to be talking telling something he is standing there to express his views he is telling something about the topic and others are listening who are these three people in front of the door these people they are sitting and they are maybe talking silently the debate competition is happening and no one is speaking in a loud voice they are speaking so silently you know in a low volume perhaps they are making some gestures they are using their body language have you seen this type of activity 
taking place in your school? Have you taken part in a debate competition? Have you? I think you have taken part. And how you felt while speaking in front of your students and teacher? A first time you, 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 maybe you might have been nervous, but later on, you felt quite easy and normal. Taking part in a debate is really fun. It is a fun. You can freely say about the topic, what you think, what are your views. Okay, let's go further. Okay, this is class 10 English, you need to reading. On the, on the screen of a television, you can see what one person in the debate has said. And the topic of the debate competition is Using a single language is better than multiple languages. Yeah, what do you think of the topic? Using single language, one language is better than using multiple languages. What do you think about this topic? You go with the topic? Or what do you say using multiple languages is good? Or using single language is good? What do you say? What do you think? I think in my opinion, if you ask, then I love to use multiple languages. I am on next side. Using single language is one side and using multiple languages is another side. When I say using single language is better than this is I'm speaking for the motion. I'm supporting, you know, I'm in favor of using single language all around the world in all types of situations. What happens when you go to a new place where your language is not understood? What do you do in such situation? Oh, you might fall in a great problem in that situation. What you speak is not understood by other people. And what other people will speak in their local language is not understood by you. It creates problem. So there are two persons taking place, you know, they are, they are competing in this, situ in this debate competition. Okay, one person is Karma and next person is Kavita. This is what that is mentioned in your class, you know, class 10 English book, you read two. Let's see what he says. I'll give you some information related to de debate what things should be done, what should not be spoken about, or what should be immediately or what should be necessarily spoken about. We have to think a lot before expressing our views. Okay, this is a competition and different roles are also given. See how many roles are there? You know, Mr. Chairperson, respected teachers and friends. This is what the speaker has addressed in the competition. Mr. Chairperson, respected teachers and friends. I would like to thank Mr. Timil Sina for giving me an opportunity to express my opinion on the burning issue. The fewer the languages there are, the easier the life will be. Every year, several languages die out. Some people think that life will be easier if there are few languages in the world. I support this idea, view. Okay, what karma says? 
First of all, he salutes, he gives, you know, he addresses the people sitting around, sitting in the debate competition. Mr. Chairperson, this is quite you know, necessary, this is a must. While taking part in the debate competition, or you have to speak before mass of people, then you have to address the people. You have to say, dear chairperson, Mr. Chairperson, dear chairperson or Mr. Chairperson, same flavor, but dear is more formal. It is formal type of expression. In Nepali also, what we say? Yes, Karikram ka adachya jiu. Mera sammanit, maile samman garne guru var gaharu. Mera pyara pyara bhai vai ni saathiyeru. Saathiyeru ani bhai vai niyeru. We generally say that in school competition, school, you know, events. But here, what the karma has said? Mr. Chairperson, respected teachers and friends. And after address, what has he said? He has thanked the master of ceremony. Master of ceremony, you know? Master of ceremony is the announcer who runs, who conducts different activities in an event. Mr. Tim Sina is master of ceremony and the speaker thanks Mr. Timil Sina. Why has he thanked Mr. Timil Sina? Because Mr. Timil Sina has given him an opportunity, chance to express his opinion in this competition. That's the point. What we have to do before we speak, before we deliver our views, we have to address and we have to thank people, thank the person who has given you a chance, who has given us a chance. Malai Azakoyu Karikrama Bolna Dinu Bhaikoma Sarapratham Maudgusak Julai Dhanivad Dinachanchu. Yeah, this is the way that people have to thank to the announcer for giving a chance to speak in the program. Yes. And what he says? He says every year several languages die out. They vanish. They disappear. Some people think that life will, will be easier if there are few languages in the world. I support these view. Yes, I support this view, karma says that I support means I am speaking for the motion. He is speaking for the motion, that means he is telling that pure using a single language is better. It is better. You know, using multiple languages is very troublesome. But if there is only one language in the world, then it makes people easier to easily communicate. They can communicate where they go, wherever places they go or whoever, what type of whatever people they meet, they can easily communicate to the people if there is a single language. And karma is speaking for the motion. He is speaking from the side of using a single language. Okay, he further says, as we know, the development of recent technology has significant role to create a global village. People from any part of the world can communicate easily through the internet. Due to the international importance of the English language, most people are reluctant to use their first language and are learning English. This shows that people prefer learning the language that helps them to communicate in the global village 
to their own language. Okay, what does karma say? Karma says karma loves to use single language because it has so many advantages. Using a single language has many advantages. What he says? It is very easy to communicate with people. This is the benefit. No need to worry about what people think, what people understand you or what you understand, how you understand the people. No problem. Everywhere you go, you can communicate easily to the people. This is the one point. And another one is, the world has been a global village, very small village. How? In the previous lesson also, we had discussed science and technology, scientific inventions, ICT, especially information and communication technology has turned the whole the world of small village because there is no, you know, although there is long distance to cover, but very easy to reach electronically in those areas. It takes years and years to reach to America or Europe, but within seconds you can contact to the people, you can visit those areas without any obstacles and without any burdens and barriers. That's why what he says, karma's one logic is using single language is better because it is easy to communicate to the people. One logic, another logic is science and technology has made the world a small village, a global village and people from all the parts of the world they can easily understand English language. Why? In internet, English language is highly used. Which language do you prefer in using internet? When you surf, when you watch, you know, YouTube, Facebook, when you use Twitter, see Twitter, then which language do you use? I also use English language and you as well. Aren't you? Don't you use? Use English language. Yes. And another point, what he says that most people are reluctant to use their first language. Why? Why most people are reluctant? Reluctant means undesirous, not willing, no, hesitation, hesitant. Most people are reluctant to use their local language in international scenarios, international events. Why? Why everyone seems to using English language? The reason is English language is a contact language, it is a common language, everybody can easily understand this language and everyone is using, everyone is learning English. Wherever you go, you need English. That's why you have to learn English. And when people learn English, they love to use this language. That's why people are learning English. And karma also says that people are learning English because this is a global language. This is a contact language and common language. Everyone can easily understand. Everyone can easily communicate and be communicated. Right now, sappai jana manchi English use garsan ki na? English जानी बने नया ठाउ में गए पची पनी समस्या होता ही ना सब भी जाने ले बोल सन सब भी जाने ले सुन सन सब भी जाने ले प्रयोग कर सन कुरा कारी करना बंद हो ठहर बंद है ना नहीं English language अनिमांसी ये प्रयोग कर सन 
मानी लोकल लैंग्वेज बरू यूज करते हैं लोकल लैंग्वेज यूज करने तो लोकल मत हो अरुले तो बुझे होते दिस इज द पॉइंट दैट कर्मा सेज हियर अगेन कर्मा सेज मिस्टर चे पर्सन यूजिंग सेम लैंग्वेज वुड सर्टेनली एड अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड ग्लोबल फ्रैटर्निटी ग्लोबल फ्रैटर्निटी फ्रैटर्निटी मीन्स ब्रदरहुड दिस इज फ्रेंडशिप and people can communicate with ano one another without any problems it unites all the people as global citizens if everyone speaks the same language there will be clear understanding between not only countries but also people throughout the world it would promote learning the flow of information and ideas for example students don't have to translate the text into their mother tongue to understand yes using a single language helps us a lot it makes understanding clear What do you do when a person an Italian comes to you and says something in Italian do you understand what he says no if he uses english then you can easily understand there won't be misunderstanding there won't be communication gap that's why using single language is better than using multiple languages you know when there are so many languages around you in the communities around you in the societies around you then it is difficult for everyone to understand all the languages if they use a single language they can easily understand so there won't be any misunderstanding in communication it doesn't only promote yeah it doesn't only promote learning but it helps in getting information easily and expressing ideas and single language has the power to unite it unites all the people of the world as a single citizen they are a global citizen we are using english in our country people are using english in our nearest you know near countries china and india and people who live in new zealand australia america britain canada german norway everywhere people understand english so what they think that from language they are equal and they have, they feel that they are the global citizen they don't feel that they are new to any places if you learn english if you know english it's not difficult for you to go to any places of the world you can easily communicate with the people that is the benefit of using single language he further says ladies and gentlemen economic growth is also possible by using single language as it can minimize various cost such as cost of communication translation interpretation etc we want to need interpreters to in international conferences seminars and workshops participants can easily express whatever they like in the language of common understanding thus 
It can minimize the communication barriers and help international business resulting in a healthier world economy. Yeah. Using single language can minimize, reduce the cost of communication. What is that? How the cost of communication is minimized? Yes, definitely. If you go to, have you seen the Prime Minister of one country or the President of one country is taking interpreter to another country? Suppose the Prime Minister of Nepal, if he goes to China, then he takes one interpreter and it is costly to take interpreters to the new place with him. Interpreters are those people who can speak both languages being used. Chinese president speak in Chinese language. Nepalese prime minister speaks in Nepalese language. How they can understand? No. Nepalese prime minister can't understand Chinese. And Chinese, suppose Chinese president can't understand Nepali language, then there is a problem. In such problem, what happens? One third person is essential and the third person is known as interpreter or translator. So the cost of communication reduces, that means no translator, no interpreters are necessary in international seminars, international workshops, in conferences, symposiums, no necessary. Because using a single language is easily comprehensible to all and the communication cost you know, definitely reduces itself. That is what karma is saying. And further what he says, not only this, if language is intelligible for all, intelligible means comprehensible, if language is intelligible for all, members of security forces can easily investigate and understand national and international criminal plans. It may help in solving international and intercultural security problems too. To conclude, I strongly claim that using a single language as a lingua franca strengthens our fraternity, integrity, security, and global understanding in addition to helping international business and economy. Okay, you must have seen the flames, detective flames, where people use, detectors use code languages. Those code languages are incomprehensible, not easily understandable. People won't easily understand. And if using a single language, you know, suppose the, you know, the people who are doing some mischievous task, bad task, bad work, they might use another language. In such cases, we can't understand what they are communicating. So if there is a single language, then it is not difficult for the security persons to find out who is speaking what to what, you know, and what they are saying, to whom are they speaking in another language. The single language can reduce that type of barriers and reduces communication cost. You know, karma again says that in criminal plans, you know, people are using different types of languages. 
if there was a single language then it wouldn't be difficult for security personnel to find out what plans they are making in such cases single language is beneficial it is useful and it is better and finally karma concludes what he says that using a single language is better because it is a form of common language which everyone can easily understand and english has been lingua franca in the world everyone can easily understand this language nationally and internationally that's that's the point that karma has made karma has spoken his views expressed his views regarding the motion you know he was speaking for the motion and his main points let's discuss them what has he said single language is the best or it is better using single language is better than using multiple languages his main points if you have started not restarted writing please start writing the main points that karma has spoken in the debate number 1 science and technology has made the world a global village and forced to use a single language and english is the single language which is being used all over the world his second point people love to use english to communicate because it is the language used in internet and it is used as a lingua franca i've already told you that lingua franca means common language it is common to all people everyone can easily understand third number it builds of fraternity unity and clear understanding among people and it builds of economic growth using a single language minimizes the communication barriers next point single language is intelligible and reduces international and intercultural security problems and misunderstanding these are the points that karma has made let's see more points that he has used he has said every year several languages die out next point the world has become a global village due to the development in science and technology people prefer learning the language that helps them to communicate in the global village using the same same language would certainly aid understanding and global community people can communicate with one another without any problem if there is a single language a single language can unite all the people as global citizens a single language would promote learning and the flow of information and ideas economic growth is also possible by using single language interpreters will not be needed in international conferences seminars and workshops 
single language minimizes the communication barriers and helps international business and also makes the world's economy healthier. Use of single language may help in solving international and intercultural security problems. A single language strengthens our fraternity, integrity, security and global understanding in addition to helping international business and economy. Let us see how many you know advantages, so many advantages Karma has said about using a single language in the communication. Using multiple language is not good according to Karma. He has given his ideas and views, opinions regarding single language. What do you think of this? Is it good to use single language when you communicate with people or wherever you go? What happens if single language is used? This can create, this can establish single culture among people. Is it good to use single language everywhere in every process, in every situations? What happens if we use a single language? What problems may arise? May arise? What do people think of using only one language all over every time? Does that give diversity or variety in the thoughts of people? Okay. With this, you think and you write down main points. Once you read your book, you will get more ideas that I have discussed here and given you some points and make notes as well. With this, my today's class comes to an end and I will be with you in next class. Thank you. Bye-bye.